Now, when you think of a reliable car to drive, I don't think you say Subaru. But today we are looking at the Forester GT. This is not my road car. This is another one which I have brought. It's a lot of car for $1.5,000. And here's the thing. That's not what I care about. What I care about is how good this car is with how many kilometers it's got. Now, you would think that many Ks, it's had an engine replacement. And when I went to go see this car, the first thing I did was go into the glove box and have a look at the booklet. So, this is what we've got here. I love looking at cars and their service history, but this car has got a history that is unknown. You come in here, you see photos of Colin McRae with his WRX rally car. I mean, Subaru, this is their peak era of motorsport. You get the stock Forester brochure, but there is nothing, nothing on the, the engine. And I just thought, like, Either this old Japanese bloke who I brought it off has somehow replaced it, and I doubt he has. Or this car's been well looked after, and it's done 391,000 kilometers. Now, look, this for me is weird, okay? Because my original Forrester GT, look, it's blown a head gasket 175,000 Ks. It's not many kilometers to blow a head gasket. Uh, this car, it has the original booklets and nothing in it about its history. Let's pop the hood and have a look at the beautiful EJ20 which has done 391,000 kilometers. So this is an EJ20, it's turbocharged, you can see the big intercooler down there. The turbocharger is right there. As you can tell, it's nice and green. Quite healthy indeed, so that's fine. A bit brown there, that's fine though. You wanna check your engine oil. And as you can see, this car is fantastic. It's got very clean oil. It just doesn't look like it's done that many kilometers and it's just well looked after. So the car was listed on Marketplace and a lot of people were trying to get it for the price it was. Uh, luckily I got in contact uh, with a nice young Japanese lady. Uh, it was her father who was selling it. He was in his 70s or 80s. So I went to the house and he comes out and he's just so passionate. He says he loves Subarus. You know, he says this car's been the most reliable car he's driven. And you know, when he's saying this, I'm like, you know, no, Subarus are not reliable. They're crap. Head gasket, yada, yada, yada. But you know, he was passionate. and. I, I didn't even know how many Ks the car had at this point in time. It wasn't advertised online with how many kilometers. So when he starts it and I see 390,000, I'm like, yeah, I'm not buying this. But he said to me, take it for a test drive. He insisted. Nothing sounded weird on the test drive. Everything was fine. And when we were discussing about the car, he would tell me that every morning he would wake up, he would start the car, he would, he would smoke two cigarettes, he would wait 10 minutes until the car was warmed up, and then he would drive it. So... He took well good care of his car. He never drove it when it was cold. He didn't fang it. And he's been the owner for the last eight years. So he's had it for half its life, basically. Okay, in you go. Now, I wouldn't recommend buying the lifted kit if you have a personal uh, belonging like a dog or a cat because they can't really jump up. But as you can see, animals love it. This is my, my dog. And look, she's happy. She's comfy. Like, it's a Subaru. And because the head gasket is good, you can drive this car wherever you want, where you want. You like it? Yeah? So this car is awesome for 1.5 grand, it's got everything you need. Let's now find out what it's like to test drive on the road. It'll bring Molly as well for the drive. And it starts up alright, well that's fantastic to, to go with. So 391,000 kilometers. So the check engine light, it goes on and off um, every now and then, but it seems to have now stopped doing that, which is fantastic. But um, let's go for a test drive and figure out how this car feels on the road with 391,000 kilometers and counting. So our first question for today will be, how does this car feel? And what I'm looking for out of a car like this is just that it drives, there's not many sounds, and as you've already seen, a lot of the electronics still work. When I brought my uh, first GT Forester, I brought that for the same price as this. Had much lower Ks, but the power windows didn't work, the radio didn't work, the speakers didn't work. So I brought a car for the same price and everything works. I've got a sticker up here that says um, the CV joints were done at 317,000 kilometers. So I would assume that they are probably due again. This car feels like it's been looked after. It feels like it's got a lot of life left, even with that many kilometers on the engine. You don't really get many Subaru EJ20 or EJ25 motors that can last this long without blowing head gaskets or having something wrong with the engine. It's lasted long because it's been serviced, it's been looked after, 
and it's been driven very normally. And I feel like being an automatic, you can't really get this car to do much stupid crap. And I would say right now as it is, I'll trust this car to go probably another thousand or two thousand kilometers, maybe do a decent road trip. I mean, that's what foresters are for. But in the kind of state it is in, I feel like this car's been looked after and it could keep going. The previous owner, he said that he'd drive uh, a 30 to 40 kilometer radius every day to go to work, which is quite a, quite a fair distance for work and it never let him down. He'd wake up in the morning, let the car warm up for about 10 minutes and then drive it. My dog's still there, thank God, she's just lying down. I thought she jumped out the window. You can't buy a car with lifted springs. I mean, this car's got a lot of features, you know, like climate control, cruise control. The list would go on if I, if I wanted to, but uh, overall, this was definitely a very good buy because the amount of features in this car is amazing. As a P-plated car, if you want to take that risk, definitely. I mean, you know, it's got high kilometers, but it's been looked after, so I would trust it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, please subscribe. In the next episode, we are going to be reviewing this car and this Series 2 Forester GT. There's a lot of differences to both cars, and I want to show you guys uh, all the improvements the Series 2 had compared to the Series 1. There's a lot of big changes that helped uh, the efficiency and the looks of the car. If you did enjoy the video though, please let me know. Uh, this car has been absolutely fantastic to drive. I'm keen to do some work to it and still drive it around for a bit longer. But the truth is, Subarus are okay and they can be reliable. Have a good day guys, take care. I'll see you soon. Adios.